What's going on, dudes? Welcome back to another video. It's been a little while. I I, I need to stop saying that because I think that's implied at this point. But um, so welcome to the new setup video. I haven't done one in about a year now since I uh, finished the PC setup back in my house back in back home. And since then, I have moved out. I am now in college, and uh, I want to give you guys a look at my uh, dorm room setup here. Now, I just want you to know that things are very cramped here. And that's just because there is just not a lot of space. Um, things are not cable managed as well as they could be, um, just because of the limiting um, places where things can be plugged in, all that kinds of good stuff, and um, the orientation. I've set things up since so that I have a nice recording experience. Um, but I'm going to show you guys how everything is set up, as well as the new PC. Although I guess it's not really new; it's just slightly upgraded since the last time you guys have seen it. So. Let's just do a wide shot. So here's my half of the room. Here's my bed, shelf with all kinds of junk on it. Pan around, and there's the setup back there, right here. That's it. So I'm gonna give you guys a tour of all that and show you guys how I make the videos that I make and also just, you know, play games and chill. So let's get into it. For the record, this is the first time I'm using my new phone to do a video like this. I got a new phone recently. Um, I got the Asus Zenfone 3 Deluxe. This is a 5.5 inch screen with 32 gigs of onboard storage. This thing was introduced at CES this year in January. And this this model just started shipping in the last two weeks or so. So I pre-ordered it and got it very soon. So what's kind of cool about this is it has a 4K camera. So I'm making a video in 4K, which is pretty cool. So just go along with it. So this is the setup here, um, the current iteration of it. So you see, we have a camera, a camcorder, two two monitors, a webcam for like Skype and Scratch video and stuff like that, and the PC itself. This is a music stand for music because I also do music in my life. So let me move that out of the way. So here's the PC. And uh, I'll show you guys more of this around the other side. And over here is my external hard drive. That was the solution to the failed hard drive video that if you haven't seen that I'll post a link in the description so you can see that but that is my solution right there so this this bad boy only has an SSD in it, it doesn't have a, a hard drive so I'm using an external drive there so it's portable and nice so that's pretty cool it's a three terabyte drive from Samsung or as a Seagate I don't even know what is it Seagate it is Seagate not Samsung sorry good enough whatever so, let's see what we got here. So there's all the I.O. from the motherboard. Focus, please. There we go. This camera focuses very nicely. So there's the I.O. Standard motherboard I.O. So we got the backup drive out coming out of the 3.1 ports. And just, we have keyboard, mouse, webcam, uh, audio, audio driver, stuff like that here. So, yeah. So here's the uh, graphics card output, it's a GTX 970, it's an ASUS Strix GTX 970, so we got HDMI and DVI, and then down at the bottom there's the capture card for the camcorder, it's a Blackmagic Intensity Pro, so we got HDMI in there, and then we have um, the massive cable bundle here that I've cable managed pretty well, as well as I could get it, so it's held up by some tape there, and a bunch of guys. This is the audio device for the microphone. USB audio device with an XLR input there and headphones out. Uh, there's the first monitor. This right here was the first monitor that I ever got. This was the very first monitor that I used on the old back at home. So that's that. With a webcam on top of it. We got DVI in there. Then on the second monitor, we got some zip ties there because those are always good. This is the one I picked up on eBay for about 90 bucks. Um, it seemed like a good deal and that has HDMI input there. And that's working nicely. So let's go around to the front here. So you can see the main setup. That, that's all my roommate's crap back there. So here's the front setup. So we have HDMI as monitor. This monitor is a great monitor. Um, it is it is a glossy display, but it's not bad. I don't mind it at all. So nice and crisp. So yeah, nice. There's the other monitor. There's the mic. Okay, sorry about that. My phone got a call and stopped recording. So there's the mic. This is the CAD GXL 2200. It's a decent mic. Um, just on a desktop mount with a shock mount there. So yeah, pretty good. I got my headset. These are the Audio-Technica... Nah, it's not... Will it focus on that? 
Eh, sort of. This is the M30X from Audio Technica. Got a pencil because I have to do schoolwork too. We got some uh, Trader Joe's green tea infused mints. These are amazing. They're actually really good. And then the, the behemoth next to it, there is the new, well it's not new, it's the upgraded PC. So the new case, it's a Corsair Carbide uh, Spec O2. So it has a nice window in there. You can't see much because there's no LED lighting, but I might add some of that later. It does have a nice red fan in the front. So it's got an intake fan, it has a exhaust fan, and then you can't really see it in there. Maybe you can. Probably not. There is a uh, Corsair H55 uh, water cooling block on the CPU, which is something I've never done before. So we have a liquid cooled CPU. So up on top, we have an SD card reader. Nothing that fancy, just sort of hanging there. And a USB 3 hub. You might be wondering why I have two SD card readers. For some reason, this one stopped working. Um, not sure why, but the USB 3 ports still work. So this is just a simple uh, SD, micro SD reader. A couple flash drives. And the uh, the fan for the water cooling block is right under there, so yeah. And then the keyboard mouse, just right there. Keep them under there. Um, so yeah, pretty good. And then the camera. Here, let me turn it on so you can at least see the view. Might be zoomed out, but you can see. Hello, hi guys. There I am. How's it going? So it's just a standard camcorder. It's a Canon Vixia HF G20. It's the video. The one I made the video about a while back. It's a nice camera. There's the there's the view. So yeah, so that's how that works. And then we have power going in here, and then HDMI out going down into the capture card here. So uh, then just a couple power bricks for the camera and monitors. And those all go back there. You can see I've mounted a. Uh, a um, power brick on the side of my bed so that keeps everything plugged in and stuff so, that, so yeah that's cool so that's the main stuff so, but I just want to show you guys some other cool t hardware that I have that I might be adding to the setup at some point so here is a, a uh, here is something pretty cool if I can open this it's hard to open this right here is my newest camera this is a black magic pocket cinema camera um, shoots nice high bitrate 1080p recording so there that is. And I got a couple lenses. This one I got on Amazon. This is an EF lens with an adapter because the camera takes micro four thirds. So this is a 28 to 80. Nice and cheap. I got that for 80 bucks. And this is another one I got on, on eBay for 40 bucks. And it's a Tamron. It's for Olympus cameras, but it has a micro four thirds adapter. It's a, it's a uh, 85 to 210. So. Nice lens I got there. So yeah, I might be deploying this into the setup at some point. We shall see. So that is the general setup. I hope you guys sort of uh, enjoy this set setup vlog here. So yeah, that's the setup vlog. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope that gave you some uh, light into how I am set up here. You can see I have a Minecraft poster and some acoustic paneling there just to sort of flav flavorize this setup a little bit. So. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you have an awesome day. Hit that like button if you want to see more videos like this one. Um, I'll try to figure something out on those lines. And uh, hit the link in the description. There's a link to the uh, last set of blog. So if you guys want to check out how I've changed since then, feel free to go do that. And uh, that's all I got. So thank you guys for watching, and I hope you have a great day. And I will see you in the next video.